Have you ever met somebody who was a know-it-all? And by that, they knew it all. Now, take Nicodemus, for example, the Pharisee who came to Jesus at night. It's important for us to understand who Nicodemus was. He wasn't just any Pharisee. He was a man who taught Pharisees how to become a Pharisee. In terms of biblical knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, very few people could compete, well, with Nicodemus. Now, add to that the fact that he was rich, he was powerful, and he was famous. As a matter of fact, back in the day, many people would have considered all of this to be proof positive that Nicodemus was indeed a man of God. After all, they taught God only blesses those who have his approval. And what further proof would you need that Nicodemus was a man who had God's approval? The truth is, for all we know, Nicodemus truly loved God. There's nothing in Scripture that says otherwise. But here's what we do know. For all of his knowledge, wisdom, power, wealth, and fame, he knew that, well, something was missing. He could feel it deep down in his soul. And yet, after his encounter with Jesus, it would take several years before he would openly declare himself to be a fully devoted follower of Jesus Christ. Please don't miss the point of today's lesson. Nicodemus was a man who knew his Bible. He was a Jew, a son of Abraham. He not only had the law, but he obeys it, as in he obeyed 613 commandments found in the Old Testament. He was a commandment keeper who had the truth, and he lived it. Does that sound familiar? Here's the truth. You can have the truth and still be lost. You can keep the commandments, follow the health message, and the lifestyle standards. You can know your Bible doctrines from cover to cover and still be lost. Now, how can that be? Here's why. Because knowledge and good behavior cannot save you. No matter how much truth you know and how well you behave, none of that can forgive or remove your sin. Only Jesus can do that, which is why Jesus said you have to be born again. Nicodemus heard the truth, but it would take the cross to fully convert him. The lesson in this is simple. Don't give up on people. Keep sharing, keep talking, keep planting that seed because you never know when a person's moment of conversion might come. And that was our nugget for today. Please have a look at the lesson. Leave us some comments below. I'll see you tomorrow.